Did you know Bach Scientist job, India's prestigious engineer government job, is rated the highest in work-life balance, compensation and benefits and overall ratings compared to all other prestigious government organizations. So in this video, with the help of Bach Scientist, TEDx speaker, Gate AR9, Abhilas Bharadwaj sir, we are going to explore the life, quarter, salary allowances provided to Bach Scientific Officers at Mumbai. Hi, if you are new here, I am Raghuram Chandrakumar, M Tech Alam of IIT Madras. Let's start this video by sharing the most important contribution of Bach to our nation. How many of you know the incident of India becoming nuclear superpower by fooling United States and Pakistan with the help of Bach? And did not predict the particular test involved. India's action threatens the stability of Asia. Let me share this Kuti story in one minute. In 1939, Homi J. Baba, an Indian PhD graduate from University of Cambridge, came to India for a holiday and was unable to go back because at that time World War II started. Then I don't his motivation, Homi J. Baba joined IASC and he realized India is lacking in nuclear research. That's when he founded TAFR in 1945, followed by Bark in 1954. Since establishment, Bark did cutting edge research on developing nuclear reactors, nuclear medicines, and That's Operation Smiling Buddha, happened in 1974, India's first nuclear test, an attempt to develop this technology for mining techniques, not for war. But immediately after 1974, when we are about to make nuclear weapons, there was a collapse in our government and economy. Hence, no progress in making nuclear weapons for about 20 years. But in these 20 years, from 1974 to 1994, China was secretly sharing technology with Pakistan and they were about to hit nuclear weapon status. Now, China and Pakistan were close to us and this is a very big threat. That's when India decided to become a nuclear superpower. But unfortunately, in 1995 and 1996, when attempts were made, USCA satellites detects activity and sensors warning notice. But in third attempt, under PM Vajpayee, with team members including Dr. ABJ Abdul Kalam, Dr. Atul Kakodar, plan to carry the test when US satellite suspicion is low, along with many measures including scientists wearing army uniform, secretly carrying the nuclear weapon from Bak Mumbai to Pohran, and much more. And on May 11, 1998, at 15:45 hours, India conducted three underground nuclear tests in the Pohran Range. If needed. It can be made in number. India declared itself a nuclear superpower and we proudly celebrate May 11 as National Technology Day. Now it's time to come back to 2024. Let's explore how the life at Bach, salary, allowances, perks and everything will be. Also while I was going through the research for this video, I understood many people are not clear about which branches are eligible and many things. So in this video, I'll also clarify some of the top questions regarding the recent Bach notifications. Let's get started. But before that, a quick announcement. If you are looking for a quality gate coaching at an affordable cost, I would recommend Gatewala as their courses are one of the most loved among the students and their faculties are also one of the best. And the courses are available in Hindi and English. And due to Republic Day, all the courses on PW Gate are up to 70% off valid till 31st January. Adding on top of that, you can use coupon code RAGU500 to get additional 500 rupees off. I had attached the links for the courses in description. Do check it out. Batch details. Parakram Gate 2026 Batch B, English and English 6200. UPPAC AE Prelims Batch 264. Rupees. Gate 2027 Batch B English 8400 Parakram 2026 ESC plus Gate plus PSU Batch B 14499 Treshat ESC plus Gate 2027 Batch D 15499 Parakram Gate 2026 plus PSU plus Place Operation Batch B CS and IT 14999 Treshat Gate 2027 plus PSU plus Place Operation Batch D CS and IT 15499 Treshat Gate 2027 Batch B Chemical 13499 Now also experience infinite learning with Batch Infinity from PW Offering Gate Kasana, PYQ Books and more don't miss it out. Links in the description. Do enroll now. Typically, like how will be your day in your life? I used to get up around 6 and by 7 I am the court of badminton. Uh, like I am playing for 1.5 hours. Then okay. I used to go 9 in the office and there will mm. be 8.5 hours uh, in the office and there okay. will be no phone uh, most of the time working and that entire lunch and everything you'll do inside campus only and that person no external okay. people are allowed so that you come back by uh, 5 45 6 by mm. coming there you can also go swimming pending one uh, 45 minutes in swimming so i go for that and then you come back home to again it's your choice like you want to study or like this like your interest begins from that <laughs> 
you are coming by your car on your own vehicle and take your phone then you can put it there but okay. once you are into brc premises okay. you are not like carry any like for, for me it's yeah. great because once uh, we go inside we have landline phones to connect with our family friends if needed in emergency conditions can you tell me an example of what kind of work we will just do? a very small example that people can understand uh, everything definitely Definitely, I cannot tell uh, any security yeah. work is there. But <laughs> I have published one research paper that is in common domain. We had some brain images, brain MRIs were. So we would try to uh, do some analysis using deep learning and machine learning. Because so, uh, we are a part of uh, this organization. Uh, they are not the uh, only nuclear domain. There are something associated domains are also there. If you will search on Google, there is one project is Baba Tron uh, that is related to cancer because uh, some cancers are treated using uh, radio nucleotides. So okay. uh, using that production is. Uh, Uh, very limited like in india only very regulatory authorities given from this organization can produce it or even we produce and we give it to them a problem i'm telling you suppose i am a facility that is very secretive or sensitive there will okay. be all cyber threat so okay. there will be always we have to maintain that our endpoint our network system running inside our particular secure data should not be exposed to world because we cannot leave without internet because yeah. sometimes i need to go for a research paper even me or any physics people or chemistry people they need okay. to use the internet yeah, but true. while using the internet, they can be exposed to some malware and virus so whether yeah, i yeah, should true. expose or, or should control them so that time Got we it. need to that thing also that uh, cyber security threats will not come how will be the home is it like a 3 bhk or 2 bhk entitled to have a uh, type d if we say there is something oh. called type d flats so d flats are generally 2 bhk spacious or sometimes 3 bhk so it is entitlement when you join also but uh, in mumbai actually crowd is more like yeah. if you'll see the number of scientists are more than the number of accommodation so okay. initially you won't but if you will join any other facility of or department of atomic energy uh, okay. like in in or or kolkata there uh, you can get to be Okay. because entitlement is there because availability is not there so there is a waiting queue for that so right now even okay. i haven't got uh, bhk because there is a lot of waiting so we got some transit quarters like one rk one bhk type so we live in that now let's talk about the allowances that now quick break to clarify the questions regarding bark notification first of all who are all eligible in engineering these are the branches which are eligible now what about other branches now if we read about the notification it was clearly mentioned no other branches are eligible now there is a age criteria as well but before discussing it if you are from physics chemistry bioscience geology discipline Take screenshot of respective discipline and have a look at it because it is very easy to understand. Now let's discuss about age criteria. For general 26, for OBC non premium layer 29, and for SC and ST it is 31. Now if you are still confused, check these dates. Basically, you had to be born after the respective category dates. Uh, job. Uh, that in okay. government sector, wherever you are working, okay, in PSUs okay. or complete, just like bar, ISRO, hmm. and DRD or 100% government. Okay. So here, the as per the structure, you get payment according. According to the seventh pay commission currently is running, so in that there is a pay matrix and you join at level ten. So level ten mm-hmm. is basically called initial days or right now also class one gazetted officer. So you are you will join in BRC as a class one gazetted officer. Then you will get salary accordingly in level ten pay matrix. Okay. Above and that get some transport allowances. You will get some house rent allowances. There okay. are fixed rate for that. Ten percent is HRA if you are staying in Mumbai or big cities like Bangalore, mm-hmm. Delhi, Kolkata kind of this. So you get this much HRA. Then okay. transport allowance also according to that. More or less, these are the basic allowance. Okay. One is dearness allowance. So total four factors you have to remember that one is basic pay, second is the dearness allowance, third is your transport allowance, and fourth okay. is your house rental. These are the biggest contributors of your salary. Okay, so uh, like, can you explain a uh, shortly about these four allowances? Travel uh, allowances in Mumbai city is fixed rent, seventy-two uh, hundred generally we get, uh, and uh, plus on that there is something called TA on TA, dearness allowance on transport allowance. So okay. there is a fixed component, there is a variable component which comes. Comes when uh, government changes the DRNS allowance rate. Okay, accordingly mm-hmm. that variable factor changes with somewhat. That is the thing. The uh, one is budget allowance. So one that uh, is like where which cities you are living. Like this is tier one city, tier two city, tier three city. Mumbai is uh, coming in that you are getting thirty percent. So something if you live at some other places where very small city, and there mm-hmm. they, you will get a uh, low amount of HR. How much? How much HR for you, sir? I uh, see. Uh, Ma- uh, Mumbai also, if you see for BARC, my HRA will come around because I right now I'm living in Colony. So, but uh, when I used to live outside, it was around uh, 20k or 19k around this. So, scientist is getting a colony. That means like he or she won't be getting the HRA if I'm not wrong. 
definitely. Yes. Once you take government accommodation, there will be no HRA. When you had initially joined as a scientist, what was the salary mm-hmm. pay that you had then? Right now, when somebody will join, uh, the recent the notification, if you see, they quote around one lakh thirty four thousand, but that is inclusive of everything. Okay, there will be income tax deduction. There will be uh, government uh, when government contributes to your NPS that will be deducted. So uh, okay. as I feel, it come around ninety two, ninety three, something like this. This salary will come to you. We'll get in hand ninety to ninety three thousand. In hand, in hand. Uh, that is the thing. Now this video is incomplete because the main purpose I had made life at Bark is not just try to inform and hopefully motivate, but also to help you to crack in this exam. Maybe I tried a little to add little information about Bark with you, but I'm afraid this video is insufficient to succeed in Bark. And I believe to crack it, all we need is the right fundamental principles on how to make effective strategy and how to stay consistent. And recently I did a research. Studying All India ranks one from Tier Three College of top exams in India, including GATE, Engineering, ESC, and UPSC, and found ten principles they followed to get All India rank one. And I believe those foundation principles will help you also to achieve in CRA and any other competitive exams. Do check it out. Stay driven. Bye bye.